exciting time. I know that you know the city has been blessed over the years with a lot of facilities, but to see what the mayor and council are leading us to now, and uh, you know, we actually began the planning process for the Center for Public Safety how many years ago? Eight years ago. Eight we years actually ago. started eight years ago. And the funding was put in place, the bonds were sold, and you know, now what are you thinking? Another uh, six, seven months in order to finish it? We are, we're, we're looking at sometime in May and June actually moving in because we're actually working on some of the infrastructure, the, the communication center, some of those things we're looking at right now planning for because we want to be ready when we move in to have everything operational sometime in June of next year. We actually carried the firefighters in on a uh, tour of the station, I think it was Wednesday of last week. Is that right? Well, yeah. what is their opinion how they like the space? It, it was pretty impressive. Now, Spencer, the, uh, will the ladder truck now be housed uh, downtown or will it stay out at Station 3? We, we may elect to keep it out at Station 3 just because of the high commercial area out in that area. And the closeness, I guess, to the yeah. hospital. Yeah. So uh, I mean, if, if uh, in the future Fire Station 5, uh, we may move it to that location. Perhaps that may be more central to the city and it can respond easier to, to anywhere in the city. But uh, for the time being, we'll probably leave it at Fire Station 3 just because of the, the relevance of its response to the, the commercial areas mm -hmm. in the hospital. So, you know, when you come over the bridge and the beautiful uh, arts that they put on the Phillips Bridge now is going to give a bird's eye view not only to the estuarine system of the river, but also a great view of the new center. Yes. Uh, I know the center is going to be open uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a That's week. That's correct. Yeah, we'll be, operationally, we'll be working all the police and all fire out of there in our communication center. And uh, we'll also have a, an emergency operations center. We'll also have a, a great training space so that we can offer training and, ha and host training there in, in the public safety center. Now, the, uh, I believe we call it the intelligent transportation system. Yes. That's almost like saying uh, military intelligence. Uh, sometimes people wonder, is that a true statement? But when it comes to, to transportation intelligence systems, uh, how is that going to be uh, incorporated in the new building? Well, we're excited about that because that's going to be right next to our communication center. So if we have a particular crash, for example, that shuts down a particular part of the city, We'll be able to reroute traffic using using the signal system to 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 uh, lessen the load on those particular areas. So it's going to give us a better opportunity, um, real time, to fix those areas when we have a particular crash. I know a lot of times people sit, they'll be sitting there and and they'll wonder why it takes so long to get the wrecker there to get the car out of the way, and part of it is because of the the light system and how the light system works. It works on a timing system. Well, we'll be able to override that timing system in order to move people in, in particular areas to try to alleviate those traffic bottlenecks for whatever the reason would be, whether it's a flood, whether it's a tree down, whether it's a car crash, whatever that might be, will allow us to move traffic throughout the city much more effectively than we are now. So, for example, if the base decides that they're going to uh, to allow their personnel to leave earlier for a long weekend. You're saying that we could actually adjust the traffic signals to accommodate that? Yeah, and, and we do that now, but it's, it's based upon uh, a 3.30 to 5.30 window. So even if the base is, is closed on, say, a particular holiday, that 3.30 to 5.30 window is still in effect. Well, now what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to to reconfigure those lights from the intelligent traffic center to, to put them on normally, or if they're coming off the base, if they get off at noon, we'll be able to control the lights to allow the traffic to, to flow a lot easier to get to move the traffic much more effectively than we are now. And so the center you're projecting is going to be operational by when? By sometime in June, May and June of this uh, upcoming year. Well, you know, it's also an exciting time. The fire department actually has a double win. Not only are they getting a new station downtown, but uh, station two. Yes. It was exciting to see the council award that. Now, where is it going to be located? That's going to be located at the intersection of Gum Branch, Indian, and Sandy Drive. There's a narrow uh, vacant lot in that area. It's actually 1800 Gum Branch Road. And will that's be that uh, generally across the street from right. Jacksonville High School? Yes, sir. Okay. Di directly across the street from Jacksonville High School. 
Now that will be uh, a, what we call a substation, but really a substation yeah. means that it's there 24 hours a day. Yes, and it'll fully be staffed. Yes, it'll be operational 24/7 as well. Now the territory that it will primarily serve. It'll it'll serve every everywhere from uh, the intersection of Gum Branch and um, Western Boulevard, all the way down to the lower ends of Northwoods Northwoods community. And then all the way back up through Williamsburg Plantation that yes. way. Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, it will marry a, a certain area with uh, Station 4, which is out in the uh, Commons area. Yes. So when do we expect to have that uh, facility operational? Well, we actually have a uh, notice to proceed for construction for October 1st. And the contractor has a nine-month build time, so that will put them sometime in August, okay. August well, of 2014. Good. Well, it's an exciting time. The mayor and council have given great leadership on these projects. And again, it's, it's a great time to be part of your departments. You're getting a lot of, uh, of new benefits, but at the same time, when the citizens of Jacksonville have the opportunity to have less than seven minutes response time for a major fire and less than three and a half minutes for a 911 emergency police call, uh, they're getting a good return on their investment. Yes, yes they are. Well, thank you all again. It's always good to spend time with you.